Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Overdraft protection sounds awesome. Today, we talk about how it works and also how to avoid fees. Nobody likes fees. Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show. So an overdraft fee, pretty sure you've experienced this before, adds insult to injury, charges you for overdrawing your account. Unfortunately, overdraft fees are not nominal. It's like 34 bucks. That's the average. That can add up pretty quick if you're struggling to make ends meet and regularly overdrawing your account. And then when you add that overdraft fee thing into the mix, it can be even more difficult to catch up on your finances. We're with you. And you may not know this, but there are ways to avoid that overdraft fee. So let's explore what you need to know. First of all, what is overdraft protection? It's important to understand what overdraft protection is. Essentially, it's basically just saying we got your back if you overdraw your checking account. You won't have to deal with the embarrassment of a bounced check or a declined debit card. Plus, there won't be any consequences from a missed payment, like a late fee. But there will likely be an overdraft fee. In order to front you the cash, most banks charge an overdraft fee. The exact amount will depend on your bank. But you'll likely be looking at something close to the average of 34 bucks. Ouch. Now here's how to avoid overdraft fees. Although overdraft protection can be convenient, the fees are nothing to get excited about. With that, let's cover all the ways you can avoid overdraft fees. Work with the bank that doesn't charge overdraft fees. That's right. There are actually some banks in the world today that don't charge these fees. That means you can avoid the threat of an overdraft fee altogether by working with the right bank. Here are a few of our top banks that won't charge any overdraft fees. Chime. Chime is committed to fee-free banking, which includes no overdraft fees. Plus, the bank offers the Spot Me service, which will cover overdrafts up to $100. Whoa! We have a full review of Chime at thecollegeinvestor.com. The next top pick, Level Bank. Level offers three tiers of checking accounts with maintenance fees ranging from $0 to $15 per month. But there won't be any overdraft fees to worry about, and you can learn more about Level in our full review also at thecollegeinvestor.com. Axos Bank. Axos Bank offers an interest-bearing checking account with no overdraft fees. That's pretty cool too. So the switch to a new bank could be the right way to avoid overdraft fees forever. Luckily, it won't take more than a couple of minutes to set up your account at any of the banks that we've mentioned. Link to your savings account. Okay, so depending on your bank, you might be allowed to link your savings account to cover any overspending in your checking account. Although you have to wait a few minutes to set up the link, most banks won't charge you a fee for this service. If you do decide to go this route, don't forget about the withdrawal limits on your savings account. The federal government only allows you to make six savings transfers per month. If you do go over the limit for the number of transfers, you might have to pay a different kind of fee. You can also apply for an overdraft line of credit. Some banks actually offer a line of credit to customers looking to avoid the fees. So with this revolving line of credit, you would likely pay interest on the balance. But if you're able to pay off the charge quickly, the interest rate may be more affordable than an overdraft fee. The good news is that most banks do offer this option. The bad news is that you're likely going to need a solid credit score to unlock this opportunity. Here's another option. Opt out of overdraft coverage. Many banks and financial institutions will allow you to opt out of overdraft coverage. When you do opt out of the coverage, the bank won't cover any overspending. Instead, it's just, just going to decline your transaction if you don't have enough funds in your account. Although this might be slightly uncomfortable, it will ensure that you aren't slapped with an overdraft fee. Another option is to set an alert for low account balances. You can avoid overdraft fees by constantly checking your account balance, but that can get old quickly. Luckily, you can also set up alerts for low account balances. When you receive an alert, you'll know to avoid using your debit card until you add more money to your account. Here's another option. 
Use a credit card. If you struggle to keep funds in your checking account and tired of the fees, using your credit card could be the right solution. You won't encounter any overdraft fees due to ill-timed bank deposits and transactions. However, be very careful with this option. Overspending on your credit card can lead to a mountain of debt, high interest rates, and low minimum payment requirements. A proverbial hamster wheel type of effect? Credit cards can also be the right tool, though, in some situations. You can eliminate any overdraft fees that are making it difficult to get ahead. Plus, you won't face any outrageous interest charges if you pay off your balance on time and in full every month. Weigh the benefits of using a credit card to decide if this is the right way for you to avoid overdraft fees. If you can't handle a credit card, cut it up. So if you are honest with yourself and you think a credit card could be bad news for me, you can use a prepaid debit card. A prepaid debit card could work for you if you want to stick with plastic but you don't have to worry about overdraft fees or debt. Prepaid debit card is kind of like a regular debit card at the point of purchase, but the card itself isn't linked to any checking accounts. Instead, you just deposit funds onto the card to use when you need it. Most prepaid debit cards don't have any overdraft fees, but if there isn't enough money in your account, it's just that the transaction will be declined. The bottom line here? No one wants to see an overdraft fee hit their account, but there are tons of ways to avoid this unnecessary expense. That's it for today. I hope it was helpful. If you think this could help somebody else, please feel free to share this podcast with somebody else as we just love to help each other out. You can also check out reviews of the banks and the products that we mentioned at thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you again very soon.